Okay guys, so I'm starting off by using Rit Dye. The first Rit Dye I'm going to use is the color Teal. I'm mixing it into hot water that I put in my microwave for about 3 minutes. And I'm just going to stir that up really good. I did add a little bit of salt in, but you can't see that here. And then I'm also going to be using the color Royal Blue as well. Now, as you can see, I'm doing the dip dye method, which pretty much just means I'm taking this 613 blonde synthetic hair and I'm just dip dyeing it in. And girl, let me tell you something right now, girl. That first bundle that I did, sis, she melted, girl. She melted. Like, that water was too hot for that hair and it just melted. But I am combing the color through just so that way I can get it evenly through the hair and then re-dipping it because I am not taking it out of its wrapped packaged form. I'm leaving it rolled up. So as you can see, I went in with another bundle just to go on ahead and ensure that two of my bundles were done. Now I'm jumping in with that blue, or that royal blue. I'm just adding it in. And I did about half a pack each time. I'm just stirring, stirring, stirring. And then I'm going to go on ahead and do the same thing and dip dye the hair again. And sorry if y'all can hear my air conditioner. It's hot. Also, I do recommend doing this in your kitchen sink if you have a stainless steel. Think. Um, it's just going to make life so much easier, and you don't even have to be pressed about cleaning it. But do you see how gorgeous those colors are coming out when you do dip them in? Now, I will say, these bundles that I'm using, like the 18-inch, the 16-inch, none of these melted. So it was just that particular hair that was not having it, okay? Like, it was not going. So I did three bundles in the blue and two in the teal. Now what I will say is that when you do do dip dye, if you are doing the bundles, they necessarily do not come out even. As you can see right here, these are all the bundles and each one looks completely different. So there's Esmeralda, my wig head, and there's my 12 inch bundle, which is like a sky blue. I had to re-dye this hair. Um, and as you can see, I'm just taking my tracks and I'm pinning them into place on the wig head and then I'm going to snip them to ensure that I have perfect measurement and that way I also have multiple tracks pre-cut so it makes making my wigs much quicker and much easier. If you want a detailed video on how I make my wigs, go on ahead and drop me a comment and I will definitely get on that for you guys. So as you can see here, I'm just taking my hot glue gun, I've unpinned one track at one side, and I'm just going along the track, and then I'm going to firmly press it against my wig head, and then I'll undo the pin on the other side and make sure that that edge is also intact and glued down. Then as well, um, I'm using this mesh cap, guys, mainly because I have so much hair underneath my wigs that this cap just really works for me in the summer and it's breathable. I know a lot of people don't like them, but I enjoy them. So, yeah, I'm still trying to find the perfect wig cap. But again, as you saw, I'm just putting glue on, pushing it in, and that is what I have left over from that bundle. So I'm going to be moving on to the next. Um, again... I do my wigs with a hot glue gun method. It's super easy, super quick. Um, do be careful, though, if you're going to use a hot glue gun because you will burn yourself, girl. Like, you will burn the mamma jammas about your fingers, girl. I'm just used to it, so it doesn't matter. Now I'm moving into the 18-inch bundle, and then I'm going to keep going up. I did the 12 at the bottom and then did longer. And here you see, here's my Captain Planet Bob, girl. Okay, I got the teal. I got the light blue. I got the dusty denim. Okay, girl, yes, sis. I was trying to kill the game or whatever. Now, I will say I did make this wig in the style of Ivy Powell's flip over method because Ivy did that. So, you know, girl. Pay homage to the queen. Um, but like I was saying, if you guys can see all these different colors that are actually in the bundles, um, it's crazy. And do you guys see how curly that hair is? I had steamed all the synthetic hair out straight, and it literally curled back up the minute that it got dipped in hot water. It was insane. I've never seen synthetic hair revert like that. So, it was really, really crazy. All right, and now, guys, I'm just quickly going through, and I'm going to flat iron the hair. I am using the tension method because, like how I said, when I dipped the hair in the hot water, it completely got a wave pattern back to it, which was gorgeous, and I could have left it like that, but I wanted my hair straight for my bob so I could curl it. So I'm just doing the tension method with a large vent brush and my Conair curved flat iron that I've had for years. And if you guys want a detailed video on how I straighten synthetic hair with a flat iron or anything like that, I can do that as well. Just let me know in the comments or like this video and that'll let me know that you guys do want to see that. 
and then I'm gonna move into cutting the hair. And to cut it, I originally wanted to use clippers, but my clippers were dull. So I just used my shears and I did a rough cut at first and then I cleaned it up afterwards. Um, and yeah, I pretty much went for a angled kind of bob and that's what I got. And hopefully you guys like this video. Like the hair came out so pretty. It has so much shine and so much bounce. So yeah, talk to you guys later. All right, guys. So... That is my little bob. This is how it came out. My lighting might be kind of bright, so you guys might not be able to see all of the pool coloring. Um, it is a kind of asymmetrical bob, like clearly the size is a little bit longer, size a little bit shorter. I did the Ivy Pal flip over method. This is a full quick weave. I just went in and added like a few little hairs in the front or whatever girl you know and then just did some messy beachy curls for the girls you know something quick, something slick, something nasty. Stop flipping my hair for my hair burned the fuck up. But yeah no I just adhered uh, my, this is a full wig it just has little hairs in the front. But I adhered it down by using uh, a little bit of Gossip Bee spray and Gossip Bee glue gel and she on there. She not moving. So, yeah. But, yeah, hopefully you guys like this little video and this little bob video. And if you guys do, if you like this hair wig transformation, please give this video a thumbs up. Also, um, go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you guys want. And, and I will holler at y'all later. That wasn't cute. <laughs> I'll holler at y'all later. Bye, guys. And remember, you're all high society. And hashtag, I love us for real. Bye, guys.